If you're watching this right now, it means you just realized that Amazon or Kindle Direct Publishing is now offering hardcover printing or hardcover publishing and you want some more information. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, what I will be doing in order to take advantage of this. It's still very, very early. I think they just released this just a couple of days ago. So I will be showing you the next steps I'll be taking in my publishing business uh, and exactly how I will be going forward in order to try to make the most money out of this new, uh, this new format that Amazon is now uh, giving us. First, what I'd really like to talk about is maybe think of why Amazon is doing this. You know, Amazon's been really nice to us self-publishers and publishers in, in general, everybody that's kind of using Kindle Direct Publishing. Uh, maybe a year ago, whatnot, they started offering ads that are international. So ads that are running in Spain, in France, in pretty much most of Europe. So that was a big plus and a lot of people took advantage of that. So that was amazing. Uh, a couple of months ago, Amazon released A+. Plus content which i haven't made a video about but what this is basically helping us to do is get transforming more of the visitors that are clicking on our product uh, listing so more people that are visiting our book pages on amazon and using the a plus content we're able to uh, do a better job selling so that basically bumps up the conversion getting more people more of those clicks into buyers so that was a really really good tool that they also gave us and now Amazon's giving us hardcover publishing. So what I kind of see Amazon is doing is that they're doing these small changes. They're not massive changes, but the, th the thing is, is that these changes can lead to a huge impact into their bottom line and our bottom line. So for example, just A plus content, right? I know this video is not related to A plus content, but that small change of getting more conversions, more people that are visiting your product page and transforming them into more buyers because more people are gonna be convinced to buy your book, that's gonna to lead to a lot more sales, right? So that small change will lead to a big, big impact because what if um, millions of people started to change their product listing, made a better listing and more people bought? Again, Amazon's gonna make more money, you're gonna make more money. Now with the hardcover books, what's gonna happen is that more people are gonna be more inclined to pay a little bit more to get a hard copy versus a paperback. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm in a library, I'm more than willing to pay a little bit more when it comes to a hard copy versus a paperback. I like the feel of it, I just like it, and I, for people that are actually buying physical books, I think there's a general consensus that People prefer hard hardcover books versus paperbacks. However, they cost more. With that being said, you can charge more money because there's a higher perceived value. So I decided to stop the video I was recording on my phone and jump in on my computer so I can actually show you some real numbers uh, behind the different cost of paperbacks and the different cost of a hardcover book. So as you can see on my screen right over here, this is a trim size of five and a half by eight and a half, pretty standard, no bleed, glossy book, uh, black and white interior. It's 139 pages. And you can see that the cost to print uh, in the US uh, is around $2.50, right? Two and a half dollars. And it's ballpark the same price, uh, you know, globally, right? Around all the marketplaces. Now, if I was to look at the same book, uh, converted into a hardcover book, you can see that the costs uh, go up quite significantly. Mind you, this is the same book with the same number of pages and roughly the same trim size. Uh, so you can see right over here, it's $7.17. Uh, if you remember correctly, the paperback uh, version had a cost of $2.52. Here is $7.17 in the US to print. Uh, so that's almost two and a half times, if not three times. I think it's exactly. 2.8 times more uh, expensive to or the cost of hardcovers versus paperbacks, right? So it's quite significant. But let's see how much royalties we can actually make versus the paperbacks. So let me show you behind the scenes of the, so let me show you behind the scenes of some of the royalties and costs per paperbacks. As you can see for a book that I'm listing here for $19.95, the printing is, as we said earlier, $2.52. And at a 60% royalty rate, we're getting about $9.45. So that's for paperbacks. 
if we look at the actual uh, if we look at the actual hardcover books uh, for a twenty nine and ninety five book uh, and the printing as we saw earlier is seven dollars seventeen we'd be making ten dollars eighty cents so it's not that big of a bump right as you can see here nine dollars forty five and here it's 1080, right? So it's not that big of a bump. Now, what I believe hardcover books will be best used as, or will be best served as, is by using your hardcover uh, formatted book as an upsell towards people that already had the intention of buying a physical copy of your book. So let me give you an example. Let's say in a given month, you get, I don't know, 300 to 500, people that were going to buy your physical copy of your book, right? I'm not talking about the Kindle bars. I'm not talking about the ebook bars because an ebook bar is an ebook bar is an ebook bar, right? Those are people that prefer electronic copies and you know, it's a different crowd. It's a different set of people, but I'm talking about the subset of people that were already going to buy a physical copy. What I believe is going to happen is now they're going to be faced with a decision when they're looking at your product page. Now they're going to be looking at the paperback copy, and now that you're offering the hardcover copy, they're going to have to make a decision, a split decision, right? A 50-50 decision, whether they should get the paperback copy or the hardcover copy. And what I believe is going to happen is that for the people, for the publishers that are very strategic, they will price the hardcover book just enough, maybe a 25% bump, maybe a 30% bump in order to upsell the subset of people that were already going to get in paperback but to bump them, to upsell them into the hardcover copy. Now, here's just some different uh, ideas that can help you of some very known books, uh, different pricing strategies that you can test yourself. Uh, here in the case of the Crush It book by Gary Vee, he's pricing his uh, hardcover book at actually $23 and his paperback at $12.33, all right? So a ten roughly a $10 jump, so you can maybe test that yourself in your particular book or books. In the case of Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, he's pricing his hardcover book at 31.62, and the paperback is almost the same price, so 29.77. Not sure how well that works for him, but hopefully he's done his tests, and this leads to overall more orders and more sales and more profit. And in the case of The Everything Store by, or the Jeff Bezos book, he's pricing his hardcover book at $30, roughly $37. I'm not quite sure how that, how well that's working. Hopefully they've done their tests, but the discounted price right now is 30, 22 and the paperback is going for eight 99. I'm not sure if this is discounted, but there's a quite, there's quite a significant price difference. Overall, what you have to know is that there's more demand for the people that are ordering physical books uh, to basically get the hardcover versus the paperback. And you have to also uh, keep a note to yourself that uh, people have a, better perceived value when it comes to hardcover books because they know it costs more money to make. So you can justify charging more money. Now, of course, it also realistically does cost you more money, right? So you're gonna have to basically weigh the pros and cons and weigh the different and test the different prices. I know in my particular case, what I'll be doing is I'll be taking some of my top books and uh, producing the hardcover books and then running some tests on different prices uh, maybe charging a little bit more for a hardcover book versus the paperback and see how well it's going to work out for me. And uh, that'll probably be a video for another time. Now, the last thing I wanted to mention is that even if hardcover books don't make you that much more money, right? Probably a few sales here and there. What's going to happen with your product listing though, is that it's going to have a lot more authority. As you can see here, all these books that went through an actual publishing uh, company, right? Uh, typically when they produce a book, they produce it and they make sure that it covers all formats, including audio CD, which I have no idea who's to listen to CDs, but it definitely comes with the Kindle, the audiobook, the hardcover, and the paperback. And you can see the same thing for Rich Dad Poor Dad, which is a very, very, very famous book. All the formats are here. All the formats are here as well. So whenever you're going to be competing with a competitor and you have all these formats, you're going to look like a lot, you're going to look a lot more established. You're going to look more uh, like an authority figure in your, in your niche, in your topic, in your industry. So keep that in the back of your mind. You might overall get a lot more sales, even on your Kindle, even on your audiobook, even on your hardcover and your paperback, just because your uh, listing has a lot more authority. Now, if you're also taking advantage of A plus content, which is having some graphics on your content and using different uh, social proofs and whatnot, you're not allowed to show testimonials. However, 
you know, you're taking all that into account, you're going to have a much better chance of stealing sales from your competitors and dominating your competitors. Now, the only drawback I see when it comes to creating hardcover books, because Amazon's made it so simple, you pretty much just, if you have a paperback book, you just pretty much click hardcover book, create a hardcover book, and they just transfer over all the keywords, the titles, everything. Uh, and the manuscript seems to be working perfectly. Any, if you're basically transforming your paperback into a hardcover, the paper manuscript, so the book file works perfectly. The only thing that doesn't work perfectly is the hardcover, right? The cover itself, the cover design. So you're going to have to either do it yourself, reformat it, or get a designer. I think that's what I'll be, or that is what I'm doing right now. I'm actually negotiating with my designer. Since we have such a large portfolio of books, over 350 books, I'm looking at anywhere for $1.50 to $3 to basically resize my paperback covers into hardcover books. So there's a slight investment cost that's going to be, uh, that's going to have to take place. However, I'm starting with all my top books, like I mentioned before, and that's pretty much it. I would hope that you jump on this because, you know, uh, this is something that's brand new. And typically, if you want to be ahead of the curve, you better jump early on board. And I would basically just start off with some of your top books or some of your books, if you just have a handful of them and see how it goes, do some price tests. And hopefully you found this video uh, helpful. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section. And if you found this video helpful, hit the subscribe button. And I have probably uh, some more training down in the description uh, area. I have probably a link to publishing CEOs. Go ahead and click on that. You're probably gonna have access to more trainings uh, over there. Be sure to so follow me on different uh, platform, social media platforms, on my Instagram uh, and, uh, and my Facebook, etc. right? So hopefully you found this video helpful. And uh, I hope to you for you to subscribe and check out more videos. All right. Good luck.